Welcome back, people. Um, this one might be long. I'm trying to reduce the time down to a couple of minutes, like, say, 10, 15 minutes long, because this one's a, a pretty big boot review of PHP and MySQL server-side web development by John Duckett. Um, the reason why I brought this uh, about 10 weeks ago, or something like that, uh, I brought this book. Remember me do it, I think of it. And I, I'm using mainly as a, a reference guide and to re brush up my skills in HTML and CSS. Because the, the ultimate goal is to go back to this style of, of, of design of PHP web pages and sites and to learn the concepts that I want to learn to do client side stuff etc etc so what do you get for the book well it's a pretty thick book people it's thick it's a real thick book um i think it's i think it's 662 pages long yes it says 662 pages long it's a hefty old lump but again same as the other book it's got a lovely feel to the to the to the cover uh, this is the soft version, so it's, it's the paperback, uh, paperback of brick, but paperback, uh, I think 20, yeah, 25 pounds 50. This one, it, that's English pounds. It's USA is $45 and then Canadian dollars, it's $58 for um, the Canadian. So what do you get for your money? Well, I think the title should actually read PHP, comma, MySQL and basic programming or a foundation in programming because all the way through the book he sort of goes in this narrative of um, he wants to introduce you to this concept, right? He wants you to do, learn how to do this thing right over here, whatever it is. And then says, well, in that thing, we've got X, this, 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 and this. And if I dump all those six aspects or even eight aspects or ten aspects on their plate in one massive example and then go into detail, like the old style ways of doing things, he's taking, I think, a new approach into doing it. So he's teaching you those eight or nine con uh, aspects of that concept like expressions so in the first section here uh he goes into bait he puts you in a foundation of programming functions arrays uh constants he does logical operators he does um control structure functions he does function types data types he does all kinds objects and classes he teaches you concepts of basic fundamentals and basically those fundamentals of programming you could transfer into your javascript world your c sharp world c plus plus world your action script world your any of any programming language throughout the dawn of time virtually the majority even there's, there are hundreds out there now of programming languages and they all sort of follow this same sort of structure and if you want to learn that same structure and i think you should learn it you learn it within this book so that's why i think the title should read php my scroll and fundamental programming so that's basically the first uh, sections out of the book yeah so it says there basic programming instructions and that is section a yeah and that is what I've tagged because every now and then when I was doing like programming myself or doing anything server side, I would fail at the most basic concepts. So these tags here, what you see here, yeah, they're for me, not for, not for the video. Yeah, these are for me to remember where they bloody are. <laughs> I mean, I've had this for a fair few weeks. I've done quite a few things out of it and, and gone through some of the examples where I am right now. I think is um where's that thing gone? Let me have a little look, people. Hang on. I'm at that ye yellow tag, that orange tag. I think I'm at this point of moving on to um how to do a sample sample website. 
And that's where he starts to put all the concepts that you've been learning in this, this well, three quarters of the book. Yeah? All the concepts, all the ideas, all the different development of knowledge that you've got from all of these pages here. He then puts it into the final website, which is a sample. And then he extends the website and extends it again and then shows you extra functionality you, you could add to it and then shows you at the end end of the book because i've read through most of it yeah i've read through it and I'm, I'm okay i'm getting to the point where i'm about to attempt some of this stuff and i'm going to start here which is it says sample website there we are and then he, he sort of goes through as you can see here header and footer files to the sample website turn the page he goes to the home page of that site. He's basically teaching you or showing you how to create virtually a WordPress site from your own server, from your own, from your own uh, packages. So if you went to, say, uh, a hosting provider and ordered a package and a URL from them, and then you set up your hosting plan, blah, 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 You've got yourself set up. You've got your, you've got access to your C panel or control panel, as some people call it, but most people call it a C panel. You can create your database for which he shows you how to do all that stuff over here, and then you can start creating your own Facebook or your own Twitter or your own uh, WordPress site or your own social networking brand that you want to do. It teaches you all this stuff in here, how to do it. So there's a home page. I've got categories page. Seems very familiar. Article page. Seems familiar to WordPress users. Member. It shows you how to build a members page and put membership into it. So you, you can do that sort of stuff within this thing. So this is what I'd like to get to. Yeah. This is what I'd like to see working. But then have, have my own sort of flavor on it so don't do what he does use my own images use my own styling blah 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 but first do this get that working uh or see it working within because if you look at the very beginning of the book i think it's at the beginning of the book um download the sample code somewhere you can download the sample code so the way i was approaching the learning of this book was somewhere here at the beginning you can download the sample code. Why am I scroll? It teaches you a lot of stuff at the beginning. A lot of stuff. Well worth looking into, reading. There is a lot of reading, okay? A lot of reading. Yeah, here it is. Downloading the sample code. So installing software and files. He teaches you about how to, well, sort of teaches you how to do this. Um, it's basically, it, it's ways of getting your mobile your, your desktop or laptop to start doing it locally only on like uh, providing not providing what's the word to showcase or provide a way of you interpreting a php interpreter to the browser and the only way to do that is get a get a server there's two types of, to me there's only two types of server in my head a live server which is on the internet and that's live everybody around the world can see it and then you've got a local server and the local server only resides and works on your laptop in the background and only you get to see it so having a local server to have a go at this stuff local php local everything this is where you can download your code and put that file in there do you know what i mean so yeah I, the way i approached it was i read i read the concept so let's go for yeah here it says getting it this will do any page would have done because he's, he's the way of well, the way he teaches it is this getting data out of functions right and he teaches you like the concepts behind it with the, these code examples you might not be able to see that but yeah he teaches these these functions and how how getting data out of a function how it's done in a general sense with with, with a lot of detail and then on the second page, adjacent to this, he will show you how it how it's done. Do you know what I mean? And he'll show you what the result be. Okay, functions that return a value, so you can see it in a live sense on a web page. Okay, so that's how he, he sort of structures it. Or 
he'll he'll introduce these concepts like this concept here with no example so concept 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 this they're all the concepts and then at the end he'll have one example at the end of that particular section do you know what i mean so that section is talking about uh data values etc etc you'll have an example that shows all those concepts in one example so it's a it's a hefty book to get through and uh, i've read ma the majority of it flick through the end bit where the sample website starts i'm yet to do that um i thought this is a perfect time to do it then i haven't got to worry about doing a sample project at the end basically everything you learn within this book is leading to that sample so everything you've learned so far up to the sample you can now do with the sample do you know what i mean so all the concepts to do the sample i've already i've already covered so that's why i'm stopping there and we're leaving that to my own devices and i hope to uh do that in the next couple of months off and on between client work to get it done hopefully you found this informative and i do think this book uh if i had this this is a i think this was published in 2022 i graduated in 2017 and if i i had this book then for my web development bse ons for which if i'll show you anyway just to show you that i know what i'm talking about when it comes to php and my scroll but i actually think there's a lot more things in there i did a my this is my final year project report it's twenty six thousand a twenty six thousand words long report and i thought why not put it on amazon so people can see what i did and how i approached it and if i if i find it somewhere wireframing yeah and then it goes into um uh i did maps so there's my data overflow and you can see I'm using PHP script, MySQL queries, XML dumps. I'm using JS script. I'm using HTML. I'm using CSS. I'm using JSON. There's a whole, there's about five or six different languages used to produce like a locations map through JavaScript maps. It was, and, and I was talking, the data I was getting from it, from this website, from this project, was from the environment agency a free source that you can download it's free to download and look at and i use that data 285,000 uh, entries i had to handle that big data and it was all it the the, the notion back in 2015 to 20 well, even 2020 even today is big data so to have my hands on big data and push myself out of my limits never touched my scroll my scroll queries before never touched the really php before really uh so i or even jeson javascript yes in the first year html and css yes in the first year but never php never nothing my scroll we talked we did touch on jeson but it was a you know it was tough so I'm, I was well, I was in the deep zone. So if I had this boot then starting a web development course, if you're on a web development course or just about to start one or want to learn about web development, this boot is ideal. It teaches you PHP, MySQL and the basic programming fundamentals. So if you're a complete noob to any of this and everything of this, this is teaching you this. This is this is going to do it for you. This is the one stop shop for uh database driven websites it just is i highly recommend this book i can't recommend it any highly uh do i think anything bad about the book um just that one i've got one gripe about it and that is that um he's done it in that way most books that i've i've looked at show you an example and then break that example down in sections after the example where he does it the other way around he shows he breaks it down then gives you the example i don't like that system but i i got to i got to gist the way i read it throughout the book that he's, he's showing you the concepts and then he gives you an example and at the end like i say this sample website at the end for which he talks about several times within uh the index uh extending the sample application so section d is all about that 
It's all about doing the sample application. Sample application is in, inside section C. You get introduced to it and then he extends it. Uh, so, yeah, by the time you get to section C, you've done section A and B. You've done all the concepts and all the bits roughly to produce these two anyway. So that's where I am at. I'm at section C. So you could say I've done, I've done, if you get to the end of section B, which should be there. No, that's a fair, <laughs> that's nearly three quarters of the boot, people. That's how far I'm in on it. And some of this, I'm just refresh, refresh my memory. Some of it is um, amazing to go over and new concepts that I'm, I never even touched. The hardest thing for me when doing this project was media queries, uh, squill queries and, and filters and bringing out the data from the database and, and then filtering it to the specific data that I got from a search term for which it te he teaches, John teaches you inside this about search terms and, and filtering and the squill queries and then displaying that result back to the customer or to the viewer of the website. So... If I had this book in 2017, when I was finalizing and doing my FYP, it would have been a godsend. It would have made it a lot easier. Would I have solved the issues? No, I was handling big, big, massive data. So uh, yeah, I had, to, I had to pull it out the bag. So if you're thinking about studying a web development course or going to university of any kind, I highly recommend staffs. The lecturers there are fantastic. The uh, the students that I that I studied with anyway within my year were fantastic with me. I was fantastic with them, and I highly recommend Staffs University for anything computer science, web development, programming in general. Get yourself down there, have a look at their courses, study at Staffs people. They're second to none, and the staff are there to help you. If you get stuck, put your hands up there do you know what i mean so i'm proud to be staffs i'm proud to come from staffs so uh if you are studying at staffs university or any other university up and down the united kingdom and you're doing web development or basic you want to learn about basic programming this book is for you it does all that stuff for you it's all it's brilliant absolutely brilliant i i, I can't highly recommend this enough uh you've also got online support as well so alongside downloading the samples you've got support online so this thing if i had this my life would have been a different different place do you know what i mean i would have been a different person so i hope you enjoyed this uh if you have hit me a like uh a link to the book will be down below so you can check it out for yourself and it's not bad for 20 say six quid English, 26 English pounds, a hefty boot like this. If you've got a son and daughter or you are studying web development, programming, get this book, people. Just get it. So thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. So thanks, guys, and see you again. Cheers, guys. Thank you.